Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart, and in this lesson, we're going over Social Studies Book 4, Lesson 2, Various Celebrations. So, in this unit, you will discover what kinds of celebrations there are and what some famous holidays there are. Okay, so let's begin. We always begin with vocabulary, and our first word is festival. Sorry, festival. Festival. Vol. Okay, festival. A festival is a day or time of celebration. A day means a whole day or a certain time that people celebrate. We have this word here, celebration. Of course, that's also in the unit title. So, celebrate. <clears throat> celebrate, of course, as a verb. Celebrate. Celebrate means, and uh, yeah, this pen. Celebrate, okay, sorry about that. To celebrate. To celebrate means to rejoice, to have fun, to recognize something uh, great like an event, or you can celebrate people as well. So to celebrate is to like kind of have a party uh, because you want to honor something. You want to recognize something or someone. For example, every year you celebrate your birthday, right? And that is a type of celebration. But a festival is when people get together and they all celebrate like a holiday or some event. And that's a festival. Next, we have the word religious. Religious, O-U-S, means full of. So, for example, famous full of fame, religious, full of religion. Uh -huh. Okay, so relating to religion. Somebody who is religious, of course, they have a religion. They believe in um, uh, a god or gods, right? So they have religion, they are religious. Okay, patriot. A patriot is a person who live, who loves, not live, well, they live in their country, but they love their country. So, if you really love your country and you think your country is the gr a great country, maybe you know, you can go too much obviously. <laughs> your country my country is the greatest in the world. Well, okay, be careful with that though. But uh, but of course you love your country, you love your family, you love where you grew up. You you were born there. That's that's what you know, right? So you're a patriot. You support your country and you uh, support the uh, community and the nation in which you Live, you are a patriot. Okay. Parade. We talked about festival before. We talked about celebrations, right? A festival is where people will celebrate a certain event uh, or people. And usually during a festival, there might be many parades. A parade is a line of people could be cars, could be uh, big vehicles that aren't really cars, but they're, they're kind of like cars, but they have a big platform and statues or, or people on them. And it, it's very fantastical, very colorful, very interesting uh, float. We call those floats. And a musical band that moves through a public place. So parades usually go through city streets. You don't really see a parade out in the middle of the country. I mean, What's going on? You know, the cows will be happy. But <laughs> usually you have a parade, a parade through a populated area so that many people can appreciate and join in the, the excitement and the joy of celebrating some event. And the people in the parade have organized, they practiced, they, they put a lot of effort into either playing musical instruments or in wearing special costumes or making uh, great designs or interesting colorful floats to celebrate a certain event. So parades. A very famous parade is a uh, Thanksgiving parade, the Macy's, Macy's Parade uh, during Thanksgiving in New York City where Macy's department store the tradition, uh, they have a parade for Thanksgiving Day and they have a lot of different... Um, uh, big balloons, huge, huge balloons of different characters from culture. But, you know, there's many different kinds of parades. Next, we have a feast. A feast is a large meal 
for a celebration. A feast is like a lot of food, <laughs> okay? So a very good example of this is in America, Thanksgiving. Uh, families will get together, they'll, they'll cook a turkey, right? This is a turkey and they'll have lots of stuffing. You know, here we have grapes, you can have potatoes, uh, corn, uh, cranberry sauce, gravy. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of food, right? And uh, that's a feast. And people usually, traditionally, will celebrate holidays and special events by eating a large meal together with their family because that's a great way to have a good time, to have a party, to rejoice and to remember something uh, that's important to their culture or their tradition. So let's have a feast. Okay. Our next word is firework, although we usually say fireworks because there are many of them. And what are fireworks basically? Fireworks, it, it says a display to show colorful lights for fun, but this is a little bit, could be a little bit confusing. Don't get confused with like electric lights. No, these are lights caused by gunpowder and gunpowder shot up into the sky with rockets, okay? And the rockets will shoot up in the sky and they'll explode in a colorful explosion of light. Now, of course, fireworks uh, originated from China, but uh, you know, countries all over the world use fireworks. And you've probably seen firework displays before. And uh, in some countries, Fireworks are very, very common. I remember I lived in the Philippines for about a year, and it seems like almost every night they were firing fireworks on big fireworks. The hotels would do that around the area uh, for advertising, I think, and things like that. But fireworks are very common for celebrations. What's a celebration without some fireworks? A famous celebration in America, of course, that uses fireworks is the 4th of July, Independence Day. That's so very common. That's kind of like what the picture shows, you know, the Capitol building in Washington DC and there are many fireworks while wow, they're very colorful because those are they're explosions and the explosion shoots out different uh, dyes or different chemicals to make bright colors reds greens blues uh, yellows very colorful display and good fireworks display they'll have like a, a big show at the end uh, you know they'll shoot up some rockets but at the end they're just going off all over the place it's really exciting and you really have to be there it's hard to explain but uh that, very very interesting and fireworks are very common to use for celebrations okay next speech have you ever given a speech many people are nervous about speaking in front of other people, you give a speech, right? I need to give a speech tomorrow. I have to give a speech for my class. But you give a speech. And a speech, of course, is uh, a, 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 something that you say. It's a prepared remarks, usually has an introduction, body, conclusion. It's speaking by a speaker in front of many people. They are giving a speech. So I have some remarks. I have some comments. I have some things I would like to tell many people. I will give a speech. But a speech is usually a prepared uh, a uh, group of remarks and it has some structure to it. If you just get up in front of a television camera and have a press release or just answer questions, that's not a speech. A speech is something you wrote about, you thought about, and then you stand up before other people and you give that speech. Okay, those are our words for this lesson. Okay, let's go over the two main ideas in this unit. And the first main idea is that there are many different types of holidays. We have religious celebrations and we have national celebrations. National celebrations are on the top and, whoops, on the top, and religious celebrations are on the bottom. So, of course, there's many different types of celebrations in America. Now, national celebrations, these kind of honor the history of America and they're important to Americans because of their history basically. Memorial Day is a good example. Memorial Day is a day in which Americans honor the people, the men and women who died while fighting 
Wars for America. And it's interesting, Memorial Day was actually started after the Civil War in America, and it honors both the North and the South soldiers who died while fighting the Civil War, because of course they're all American soldiers, and the special day was set aside to honor those men who died while fighting. Now, Veterans Day also honors soldiers, but it is a day to honor especially living soldiers. Uh, soldiers are men and women who served in the armed forces, who are still alive, but it's an expression of thanks for their service. And Veterans Day was established after World War I. Many Americans died in World War I. It was a terrible war. They called it the Great War. And after that war, they established a Veterans Day to honor those men who went overseas and fought in Europe uh, for democracy uh, in that war. Then we have Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day doesn't have to do with soldiers or wars. It has to do with the very early history of America before America was even a country. English settlers coming over to what is now America had a very difficult time because they weren't used to the environmental conditions. It was different environmental conditions than what they were used to. And of course, they were far away from what they uh, what their own civilization. It was hard to get supplies, things that they were familiar with and comfortable with. So the first few years while they tr struggled to survive, when they had a good harvest in the fall, they celebrated and they want to give thanks to their God. So that would is, that's Thanksgiving Day. It's a time of giving thanks for being able to survive and having a good harvest in a new and difficult environment, a new and difficult land. So that's Thanksgiving Day. And nowadays, we celebrate it in November, and it's usually the third weekend in November, the third Thursday, and uh, it's a big holiday. We have Thursday and usually Friday off, and the whole family gets together and has a big turkey dinner, okay, to celebrate a uh, good harvest and also to express thanks for the good things in our lives. Those are national celebrations. We also have religious celebrations, and of course, Americans have come from all corners of the earth, and they bring their religions with them. Of course, we have Christmas. Uh, Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. However, it's not just Christians who celebrate Christmas in America. Christmas in America has become more of a, uh, a holiday for everybody. And some people, uh, you know, just they just concentrate on Santa Claus or exchanging presents. And it's really a holiday where people exchange presents uh, for each other. And of course, it's rooted in Christian uh, tradition uh, to celebrate the birth of Jesus. But as you know the story, the three wise men came from the East and they were giving gifts to Jesus. So nowadays, people celebrate by giving gifts to each other. And it's more, it's not just a Christian holiday anymore. It's more of kind of a, it's almost a national holiday nowadays because whether people are Christian or not, they do celebrate Christmas uh, in this way. Then we have Ramadan. Ramadan is a whole month long, and it's a month long to recognize uh, the lunar calendar. It's based on the lunar calendar, not the solar calendar, so the time of Ramadan might change. But Muslims celebrate it, and to observe Ramadan, they do not eat or drink anything when the sun is in the sky. After the sun goes down, then they can eat. So it's a little difficult uh, living through Ramadan unless you are a night owl and you sleep during the day. Uh, so uh, that's Ramadan. And then of course the Jewish holiday, or one of the Jewish holidays is Passover. And Passover celebrates a very old story of uh, an angel coming through a town in biblical times and killing the firstborn sons and the Jewish people marked their doors so the angel wouldn't visit them and leave their family alone. So that's a very old story too, uh, but it's a religious holiday as well and uh, Jewish people will celebrate that. Uh, as their religious celebration. So, like I said, th these are just three examples of many religious celebrations in America. And of course, there are many different kinds because again, America is a nation of immigrants, many people bringing their religion with them when they come to America. Okay. Okay, now let's do the reading together. And as usual, I'll read it out loud. Please repeat after me. Focus on pronunciation. 
and also focus on the words that we learned in the vocabulary section. Are you ready? Here we go. In the U.S., people celebrate many different kinds of festivals and religious holidays. In my town, each year on Memorial Day and Veterans Day, we celebrate patriots. We try to remember what they did for our country. This is a time when we enjoy watching a street parade with bands and performers. On Thanksgiving Day, my family enjoys a delicious feast together. In the evening, we watch the fireworks show and sing songs together. Easter and Christmas are Christian religious celebrations in the U.S. Muslim people celebrate Ramadan and Jewish people celebrate Passover. During important festivals and celebrations, people spend time with family and do not go to work. They want to have a good time with their families. Sometimes an important person gives a speech. Celebrations are a fun time to enjoy music, food, and family. Okay, so how is this reading passage organized? It is organized under the organizational model classify. And as we saw when we looked at the main ideas, of course there are many different types of celebrations or holidays in America. There are national, national, religious, and cultural um, uh, celebrations. So we're classifying different types. What type of celebration is each one? First of all, we have Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Those two are very similar, right? Because they honor soldiers who fought in wars. So what are they? We celebrate, we celebrate what? Who are the people, the soldiers that fought in these wars? What do we call them? Remember the vocabulary word? We celebrate patriots. Patriots. So we celebrate patriots. Make sure my T is crossed. Okay, there we go. Patriots. We enjoy watching a street parade. This is a type of national holiday. So we celebrate patriots. We enjoy watching a street parade. Next we have beep and Christmas. They are Christian celebrations. So which two celebrations did we talk about that are celebrated by Christians? Well, of course, there's Christmas, the, the birth of Jesus, but also what other holiday did I mention? I mentioned Easter, right? Easter is also a Christian holiday. Easter. So Easter and Christmas are Christian celebrations. We classify those as Christian celebrations. Not national celebrations, Christian celebrations. Types of religious celebrations. We also have two more types of religious celebrations, but they aren't Christian. Uh, they are different, and those are the blanks, okay? We have Ramadan and Passover. So who celebrates Ramadan? As I said before, uh, Muslim people celebrate Ramadan. Muslim. Muslim. So when we talk about Muslims, Muslims refer to the people. Islam refers to the religion. So don't get confused by that. Sometimes people get confused there. So Islam is the religion. Muslim is the person who practices Islam or believes in Islam. So Muslim people celebrate Ramadan. And of course, Muslim, we don't put Muslims S because here Muslim is an adjective. People is the noun. So we wouldn't put S on Muslim. Okay, so Muslim people celebrate Ramadan and what religion, what religious group celebrates Passover? It would be Jewish. And again, we don't put Jewishes, right? We don't put S on Jewish because 
So Jewish, Jewish people celebrate Passover because again, Jewish is an adjective and people is the noun. So Muslim people, Jewish people. Muslim people celebrate Ramadan and Jewish people celebrate Passover. And Christian people celebrate Christmas. Of course, you can say Christians celebrate uh, Christmas, Jews celebrate Passover, and Muslims celebrate Ramadan. So it depends on how you construct your sentences. Okay, well, that is our lesson. As you can see, we in this lesson, we learned about many different types of celebrations. And as I said before, I'll say it again, America has lots of different kinds of celebrations. And of course, that's because of its history and where Americans come from. Americans don't really share a common uh, religious or historical or uh, re uh, cultural background because Americans really are from all over the world, right? There's different waves of immigration, different periods. Of course, Europeans were the first and probably, and, and of course, dominant group in America, but successive waves of immigration. You know, there are people from all over the world living in America, and they all consider themselves Americans. To become American is very easy. Uh, uh, you Well, maybe easy, depending on, on uh, how you feel about it. But you, of course, you have to pass a citizenship test, um, and you have to um, be in the country for a certain amount of time. But it is comparatively easy to become an American than it is to become a citizen in many other countries. So, uh, and a lot of people have done so in the past and continue to do so now. So America is constantly evolving and there are many different types of celebrations and observances in America. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson. Hope you learned a lot. It's kind of interesting thinking about all these different celebrations. And uh, thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next in the next lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.